welcome back now let's go ahead and do some uh, operations on the arrays so in the beginning uh, on the last video we saw we saw how we can create an array and then array of arrays or multi-dimensional arrays but this time let's try and um, perform some operations like um, addition subtraction and so on and so forth um, but one thing I'd like to show you here is this random uh, function so if I call that np so numpy.random.random dot random, and I give it inside the parentheses 2 by 3 that will give me a two-dimensional array of random elements so if I copy that and oh well in fact let's create a new uh, notebook for this so new Python notebook uh, let's call it array operations okay so let's import numpy as np shift enter and then paste that and we notice now a b is a two is a two by three array of random elements um, in fact let's make it three by three b is a three by three array of random elements now if i wanted to add two arrays i just said b plus in fact let's have another one so that's b copy this and then maybe create a C, another array. So the C now is another 3 by 3 array of random elements. Now, if I wanted to add two arrays, I can say B plus C, and I get the result, the addition of the two arrays. If I wanted to multiply them or subtract B minus C, this would be element-wise subtraction, and the previous was um, element-wise addition. If I want to multiply them, I can say B times C, and that would be multiplication. This is element-wise multiplication. Even if I wanted to divide them, again, this is an element-wise division. A division. If I say I want to say, for example, one over c, I can. There's no need for the space here. One over c or one over b is to divide element-wise division. What this means is one divide 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 by the first element, divide by the second element, divide by the third element, and so on and so forth. Uh, what else do we have here? So I can say b equals b plus equals. This is just a, a shorthand of doing it. I can say b plus equals c. So, uh, oh no, not there. We are here. Array operations. Yeah, b equals plus c. This is equivalent to um, this is equivalent to saying b equals b plus. C. This is a comment. Yeah. This is equivalent to saying b equals b plus c. So if we see, uh, why do we keep going there? This is equivalent to b equals b plus c, right? If we look at what the b looks like, so this is what the b looks like before, and then now I say I say b b plus equals c. I execute that, and then now the b is different because uh, it was replaced by the result of the addition this element wise addition each element is added to its corresponding element in the other array i hope that makes sense and the last function i wanted to show here is um, to raise the array to an exponent so again element wise meaning if i wanted to square the array b uh, that means i will square this element and square this element and this element and this element and so on and so forth. What I can do here is I can say b star star um, 2 let's say and that will uh, square the elements. I'm sorry I actually was experimenting b now is 2 by 3 as you notice so let's refresh that b is 3 by 3 and c is 3 by 3 uh, the b now looks like this and if I wanted to square each element then it'll look like this, so it'll be even smaller. And to just to confirm that this is element-wise, squaring a number is multiplying the number by itself, and the result should be equal to this very first element. Let's verify that. And as you can see, it's 0 0.00113249, and this, because it's e to, uh, e, e to, pi, pi, to minus 0 0.03, so we can basically ship this one 
three times to the right, it will be 0 0.0011324 and so on and so forth. Right? Hope that makes sense. I'll stop here and I'll see you in the next video.